I knew I was going to Fakatani for my cousin's 40th, so I put it to Facebook. Where can I find good vegan food in Fakatani? The lack of response didn't bode well. I looked on Happy Cow and found one Thai place with vegetarian options and a bad review. So what does any desperate person do? They walk the streets in search of food. In my case with my grandmother, who said, I hope I don't turn up in one of your videos. She had made a mental list of every cafe, bar and restaurant in the town. And we literally visited every single one of them. We searched high, we searched low. I noticed how many roundabouts there are in Whakatane. And then I started to feel like this. Vegan food, where are you? In all the places I visited, I found two items that were labelled vegan. The White Island Tours Cafe had a raw spring avocado salad, and Cafe Coco had a raw chilli Buddha bowl. The local organic store had vegan ice blocks and cakes, and there were Indian restaurants and things that could probably make you something vegan. At least you'd hope so. To be fair, after becoming incredibly hungry, I did beg a cafe to make me something. I pretty much specified all the things that I thought they could cook up by looking at their meaty menu. And they made me this cooked breakfast, which I was very grateful for. I feel like I've made the vegan options sound better than they were. I had to look pretty hard to find these. About three different people told me that there was this woman who was vegan and planned to start a vegan cafe. But maybe it was just a small town myth. As you can see, the scenery in Whakatane is spectacular. It's beautiful. But if you're looking for vegan food, don't come to Whakatane.